good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, as you can see, we are back home in North Carolina. Guys, guys are all riding today. A whole line of them going by. So, you know, it's afternoon now, and uh, we spent the, spent the morning with the grandkids and hanging out and whatever. I decided to bring some stuff up to uh, Goliath and start getting ready for our trip out to South Dakota. Yeah, look what I got, guys. Um, wasn't able to get them out to Laconia on time, unfortunately. So, you know, that definitely hurt us there. But I had them redirected here, and uh, they just came in yesterday, I believe. So I've got to go through an inventory of everything, and then hopefully we should have some more love jugs available very soon. And I do have some Mighty Mites in there. I know a lot of people have been wanting the Mighty Mites, and we've been out. Um, but I know I've got some on back order. So first I have to go through inventory of what I've got, fulfill the back orders of people that have already paid for them that have not received their product yet i want to fulfill those orders and make sure that all those people are happy and satisfied and then uh we'll try to get everything posted and i'll make an announcement when they will be available for you guys to purchase now another thing that we're going to be doing today is we're going to fire up project kenworth one because it hasn't driven in about a month it hasn't run in about a month so i've been disconnecting the batteries because they keep dying um just sitting for a week or so so we'll find out whether they held up kind of have a feeling they're not going to but i need to go ahead and try it and if not then i'll get the battery charger on and get them charged up one like i said i want to get it running i want to drive around the parking lot a couple times keep everything moving so it's not just sitting here but also this building right here behind me it has been leased out by a local company so uh, Joe, the gentleman who owns the building and all this property, who is uh, nice enough to allow me to park my equipment here, um, he promised them that he would keep a 50-foot barrier between all of our junk and their side of the building. So Project Kenworth is in that 50-foot barrier. So we have to find another place to park it on the property. Uh, we may even have to move this trailer around. You know, Joe's got a bunch of stuff back here. So we're going to have to do some cleanup and everything. Uh, Joe will be here a little bit later and we'll talk more about that, but I figured I need to check and make sure the batteries are working on this first because I can't move it if I can't start it. Well, just as I suspected, Batteries are too low to start it, so let me pull out the battery charger and let's get it charging. All right, guys, so the batteries are on charge. I've unloaded all the love jugs out of the back and got them organized uh, into Goliath and took an inventory of them. But I need to give the batteries a little bit longer to charge. The truck still won't start, so I figured I'd take this opportunity and uh, go through some of these emails. I am so far behind in emails. Again, I just got caught up, but I'm way behind again. Check this out. So my main mailbox, now that is my Extreme Bikes email and the Love Jugs email combined, 202. Then I go up to the Google email, got 53 there. And uh, even Facebook notifications, I've got 20. So I went ahead and grabbed a drink and a snack, and I'm gonna sit here and go through these and get them all done, I hope. Three hours later. Well guys, that took a while sitting in my truck in the heat, but I finally got through all of those emails. Exhausting. Let's see how this battery charger's doing. Power on, and we have the green light. We're charged. Ooh, it says bad battery. If you remember in past videos, we've had this situation before where it says bad battery. And if I charge it multiple times, the bad battery light stops coming on, but it still doesn't hold charge. But let's see if it'll start now. And we have ignition. Off. 
Well, as expected, she runs like a top, but I didn't end up moving her around. Just got to run for about 30, 45 minutes or so. Uh, had a conversation with Joe about what we need to move to make room for the business that's going to be coming in here. And uh, it's getting late today. I can't do it tonight. Unfortunately, I got two trailers I need to move. This dry van here. And uh, I also need to move that uh, Mack dump trailer. Unfortunately, I don't have a fifth wheel on the Kenworth right now, so I can't use it. So there is a dolly over there. Maybe I can rig the dolly up to the back of the dually and I can just move these around the yard with the dually. I don't know yet. We're going to figure something out, but we're not going to do it today. So uh, we're going to go do something different. So we'll see you later. All right, guys, back at the house. I took a shower, got my little spooky shirt on, my pajamas. And uh, now what we're going to try to do is Grayson and I have been trying to watch Star Wars. Yeah, Star I Wars. Hey, you ready to watch Star Wars? I need to make this watch room around here. All right, guys, so I was, I was a huge Star Wars fan as a kid, so it is a simple pleasure to me to be able to introduce my grandson to Star Wars. Brooklyn's a little too young yet, but I think he's at the point. Problem is, we've tried to watch The Phantom Menace twice now, and he keeps falling asleep because we keep waiting until so late. Now, I'm gonna try to start it early, and hopefully he'll stay awake. I'm gonna sit up this time so I don't fall asleep. All right, so you're gonna try to stay awake, so you're not gonna lay down. You're gonna stay sitting up, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. You're gonna try to? Asleep. Do you like Star Wars? Yeah. Okay. He'd much rather watch Star Wars Legos, but I keep trying to tell him that this is what it's all based on, and this is the real stuff, and the Legos is just the silliness of it. Right? All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight, because I'm going to hit play, and it's all about Grayson and Star Wars and me for the rest of the night. So have a good night. The next... Good morning again, YouTube. All right, guys, we actually made it through the movie last night. Believe it or not, Grayson stayed awake through the whole thing. I still don't think he's quite getting it yet. He's having a little trouble understanding it, but I told him after he watches it 30 or 40 times, it'll all make sense. So anyway, this morning is yard day. So I'm back up at the yard here with Goliath and the Kenworth because the grass hadn't been mowed the whole time we were gone at Laconia. Now I mowed it just before we left, but three weeks, it's grown up pretty good. Actually, we've been pretty, kind of dry here, so it hasn't been as overgrown as usual, but either way, I had to get done. And no, I wasn't gonna bore you with watching me mow the grass, but just wanted to get it done early. Mama S is coming over. Should she be here around noon? So uh, I wanted to get all this stuff done, get home and take a shower before she gets there so I can just hang out with my mom for the rest of the day and the grandkids and my wife. Yeah, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, and I said, as I said yesterday, this Mack dump trailer and this old Winn-Dixie trailer, they've got to get moved because the new tenants are going to need 50 feet from the building. And these two trailers are in 20 feet, the last 20 feet of that 50 feet. Now, in order to move this trailer, I need to move this box because I can't hook up to it. And, uh, you know, I can shimmy this thing, but it's heavy. I can't pick it up and I'm here by myself. So what I did, so pulled the tailgate off of the trailer, I unloaded the mower. I'm going to try to jack it up a little bit and then uh, back the trailer up underneath it. That way I can, I've only got to take it right over there. But uh, that 50 feet, I got to move it. Can be a lot of work because this thing is it's all steel with plywood. So um, try to make things easy. Well, none of it's going to be easy, but easier.
I need like two more inches to get the trailer underneath it. It's on there. It's crooked, but it's on. You know, hindsight being 2020, I'm not so sure that this was easier than just scooting it. Sure wish Joe was here, because there's a forklift sitting inside the building, but I don't have access to it right now. That would have been the easy way to do it. Well, I think I'm gonna move this pallet full of wire mesh and stuff and that bucket as well. And I think this area right here behind that flatbed trailer is where I'm gonna put the Kenworth for the moment. Probably not gonna be its permanent home, but at least get it over here out of the way for right now.
Well guys, there is a lot more to do to be able to get those trailers moving. We got a bunch more stuff to move, but I think I'm gonna wait till Joe gets here uh, tomorrow because man, using a forklift to move some of this heavy stuff would sure be a lot easier. Sorry if I'm slurring, I got sweat running into my mouth. It is incredibly hot out here and doing this by myself is a lot of work. Now I'm not afraid of a lot of work, but if I can do it easier, I'm gonna try to find a way to do it easier. And uh, I'm just, I'm cooking right now. And uh, it's kind of hard on your back doing all that heavy lifting by yourself. Not only that, but Mom S should be here any minute if she's not already there. So I'm gonna load this mower up, get everything back to the house and uh, and do family day. So guys, thanks for watching. It's gonna end this one. And until uh, the next time I see you, keep those engines running.